I've seen the light of hope put back in the eyes of a hopeless child. And in the name of Jesus, hatred and bitterness turn to love and forgiveness. And arguments cease. I've heard a mother softly breathe his name at the bedside of her child, delirious from fever. And I've watched as the little body draw quiet when that fever broke. I've sat at a bedside of a dying saint while her body was wrapped with pain. When those final fleeting seconds summoned her last ounce of strength to whisper the sweetest thing she knows. Jesus. Jesus. Empires have tried to destroy it. Government has tried to stop it out. Tyrants have tried to wash it off the face of the earth with the very blood of those who claim it. Yet it still stands. And there shall be that final day when every voice that has ever uttered a sound, every voice of Adam's race shall rise in one mighty chorus to proclaim the name of Jesus. For in that day every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is truly Lord. So you see, it was not by mere chance that called an angel long ago to say to a virgin Mary, and his name shall be called Jesus. Amen. Jesus. That is the sweetest name I know. Jesus. <laughs> Do you have your raffle ticket? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was so beautiful. You know, I went to the hospital like uh, five years ago and they put me into the emergency room. Sometimes something happened to me. And I, I guess I was out, but I could still hear it. And I'll never forget that doctor because I guess I was just saying Jesus over and over. And I heard him say, we have another Jesus freak. <laughs> but that is right. still on the outside looking in when it comes to a friendship with God. Jesus himself said, no one comes to the Father except through me unless the Spirit draws them. So even if it's on your mind or in your heart right now to take a stand, step towards the Father, his arms are open wide. Please know this is very personal. He is not waving his hand over this whole crowd right now. He is calling you, you right now, and you can lay your life at his feet. Can we just pray together and bow our heads and close our eyes and know, and know there is nothing magical about what's going on right now. It's just getting our minds off everybody else and asking God to show us the truth for us. Father, if anyone here needs you, they already know it. They, you've been moving in their lives long before they got to this room. So now we're here. It would be a tragedy to come this far to the, so close to the well and go home thirsty. 